So it's just after 5 a.m. and I am headed to go shoot with Philip, the photographer, or Felipe, he likes to put the little accent over the E. We're gonna be shooting for Dare Me Bikini today. So that's why I have no makeup on today. Sorry, but I will shortly. Um, stay tuned and I will do my best to remember to do behind the scenes footage so you guys can see what it's like. have these embroidered instead of um, having them screened or DTG'd but they're pretty nice they're um, they're men's sweatshorts so they're like a nice soft cotton and they have like a looser long baggy fit so I'm like 99% sure that these are more hats I launched the hats last week and as you can see they came out really good but that same day that I launched them I nearly sold out so I think I only have like three hats left in total so I got some more of these and then I got some other ones that I'm gonna possibly print something different on opening the last box there are the black hats that are flex fit so we have large extra large small medium and then I did get some snapbacks but I just got a few because I'm not sure how well they're gonna sell just yet but I have one that's pretty cool like this it's plain so I figured why not they're flat bill they're snapback they're like this cool I don't know kind of like a light gray denim so I think I'm gonna come up with a different maybe like logo or a different phrase or something to put on the hat because I want to have different options and more of a variety available my uh, my package time is a little bit different because it's not crazy exciting weird shit like tangle hats. <laughs> Mine learned like hats for my business. I'm gonna head to the gym now before I forget. So this is one of my new shirts that I'm gonna be launching June 4th because I am launching a summer series. So it's gonna be some brighter colors for the ladies, maybe some different colors for men as well. Definitely some different designs and phrases and like I showed you guys I'm also gonna be launching different hats and men's shorts. So be sure to stay tuned for that at PositivelyEVOL.com.
cardio. I only had about 20 minutes left to do cardio, so I did interval cardio, which is where you're basically sprinting or running at a fast pace for about two minutes. Then you can take like a minute rest where you're still kind of walking at a decent pace. So I did that for 20 minutes because I'm feeling a little fluffy and I need to get my waist down a little bit more than where I'm at right now. So we shall see. I'm gonna get back to doing interval cardio of a day and I gotta clean my diet back up because I fell off the keto wagon and I gotta get back on it. Now that I am getting back on keto properly, I'm trying to figure out where I wanna eat. My options are endless, really. I mean, I could do Chipotle, I could do In-N-Out. I think I'm gonna do the habit. So I'm home, I'm back to editing. Obviously the first portion of the video that you're currently watching. And so my In-N-Out burger, because the habit was closed, unfortunately, I totally brain farted. So it's a double single, two patties, single piece cheese, no salt on the patty, no tomato, and no sauce. And then I'm off to bed. So before I finished uploading all my footage and uploading this video for you to watch, I wanted to express to you that the keto diet is pretty easy to adapt to when you're used to eating garbage all the time, basically, because the only thing you're really taking out is the carbs, the bread, the rice. So it's easy to go get a burrito bowl because you still get your sour cream, cheese, and guacamole. However, I don't recommend sticking to that the entire time. To me, it's more like you can eat that kind of crap during your transition period so that it's easier for you to adapt to the diet and then it'll become a lifestyle. So me jumping on the bandwagon last night and having an In-N-Out burger because that's what was available was not the healthiest option. I completely fully admit that. And I am actually supposed to be meal prepping in a little bit. So once I finish this and I get it uploaded, I will be making myself some healthy meals like shrimp with broccoli, chicken with asparagus, that kind of thing. And I will probably share some recipes with you guys because I know that for some people it is hard to stick to a diet until it becomes a lifestyle. So hopefully you guys like the few recipes that I give you and it helps you to adapt easier to the change.